Hey crafty friends, welcome to... F I almost wanted to say February, but no. These are my March pages f in my Project Life album. And in March, it's all about circles and half circles. And I don't really know how it happened, but I think it's all fault to that around here journal card from the Currently Story Kit. Um, you can see little bits of it on the left bottom corner, so I blame that journal card for it. And maybe also the the March uh, monthly card from the Stories by the Month kit, which I am going to cut out and I plan on turning into a shaker pocket or shaker card. So what did I do on the computer? Of course, I went in and edited all my photos. I created this little circle with um, wording from the currently kid. Um, let me just see what it says. Finding bits of joy, li living and loving. Um, so I created this in Photoshop and then printed it on very heavy cardstock and punched it with a two and a half inch circle. Also included and already finished is my day in the life for March. So this will also go in the in the album as well as these um two six by eight yeah layouts which are going to be outside of the page protector. But we'll get to these later. So let's just get started. I printed um, yeah, the March monthly card on cardstock as well as on a transparency. So I'm just going to cut the middle piece that says March um, out here and then I'm going to I'm going to adhere the transparent part with the MAR March part onto the back of that card. And I just ordered some um, adhesive foam. <laughs> when I received the order, I think I almost fell off my chair because, oh my god, this thing looks like a frisbee. But it's going to be awesome. So I have foam adhesive for the rest of my life. So added that to the back of my cart and now I'm adding some bits and pieces here to my shaker um, pocket. And I'm just using a scrap of paper here to close up the shaker part. So again using scraps and unused paper. So next up is that all around here card. I'm just using um, the rest of the transparency which I printed the March um, journal card on. And this is also um, a tutorial that I created which you can find on my YouTube channel. And I link it up here on my blog as well. Um, I'm adhering the transparent piece with Scotch Crystal Clear tape. This tape is really awesome because you can't see it on your pocket pages, which is awesome. So my plan here was to have photos on the transparent flip up and then once you flip up the transparency with the photos, the journaling is um, yeah, underneath it. So next up, I'm adding the journaling, which I have um, yeah, typed up on the computer and printed out before. And as I said previously, I just punched the, these out with a two and a half inch punch. And I just, I love the look of them. I'm still waiting on permission to give these away as a freebie. Hopefully I get the okay from Ellie's 
um, from Ali's team because it is the wording on that um, circle is intellectual property of Ali so I probably won't be able to give it away as a freebie but I have a similar tutorial where it shows you how to add text to circles to the inside um, yeah like the round part and also text to the inside so I also loved that enjoying journal card from the March kit and just cut out the March stories which is a chipboard piece so I could have just you know like I usually do add um, multiple layers of cardstock but I decided to go with uh, foam adhesive instead and finally I'm going to add oh that's what I'm doing right now I'm adding chipboard hearts I think these are from the day in the life kid 2021 if I'm not mistaken and then my layout so the double spread is finished so I need to make sure that everything fits into the pockets so adjusting the width of journal cards is I think something that I always have to do once I'm finished and I'm putting everything into the pockets right so March what did we do uh, my husband started a new job at his old company um, I finished season or I started watching season three of Bridgerton I went on a weekend crop my husband got his new game Gran Turismo we had our first ice cream of the season we went for a walk I'm working on that layout there right now again circles um, Actually, I tried to cut out the word currently, like from the photo, so that I could back the photo with like white and get that kind of cool um, 3D look, but I was not able to cut through that photo paper. So, yeah. I almost punched six holes into that layout until I realized, wait a minute, my pocket pages only have four holes and I only need two to add the 6x8 outside of the page protector so luckily I realized it before punching holes so next up the back of my currently layout is going to be a beautiful story um, yeah, about two yeah two weekends ago we went to a soccer game of my husband's favorite team it was a beautiful day, a little bit cold, but the sun was shining and unexpectedly his team won. So it was a good day. Um, I put everything together and then realized, hey, wait a minute, this is not right. Um, so I had to take everything apart again and adhere the flip, the flip out to the other side so that because I planned where the holes should go so obviously I don't want holes where the flip out is flip out flip up oh, I'm going to flip out I think so punching holes now and that means we are almost at the end here of Project Life 2022 March so Again, lots of fun elements, a transparent flip up with photos and journaling underneath, um, a shaker card, lots of circles, a flip up with a, yeah, with vellum and the journaling on top and yeah, just loving the overall look of this, of these um, layouts. Then again, I have my day in the life 
insert here is 6 by 12 with um, 3 by 3 pockets and I have two 6 by 8 layouts outside of the page protectors. I'm not sure if I want to add more embellishment to that photo or to that side of the page in general. I just have to think about it. If not, I'll just, I'll just leave it like that. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next month. Bye! Thank you.